What's going on YouTube? This is JabberTech and I'm really excited to show you guys this projector. It's a 1080p native projector, meaning it's great for game day, it's great for watching movies at high resolution, and let me tell you, spoiler alert, this thing looks really good. You have the ability to connect four of them if you want even a bigger screen, maybe for a commercial setting. You also have a lot of great features, as I mentioned, it's native 1080p, you have 8001 contrast ratio, a 6000 lux LED bulb, it does support 4K, 300 inches is the largest it can get, and you can also plug in your Chromecast, your Fire TV, any sort of HDMI device that you have, you'll be able to plug this in and use it as well, pretty much your main TV if you wanted to. Let's just go ahead, unbox it, and check it out together. a really nice remote control I actually like the look and the feel of this remote and you can control just about everything of the projector using this so if you want to mount your projector out of the way maybe on the ceiling on the wall on a shelf whatever you want to do you always have your little handy remote control to change settings and change different things about it Using a standard cable like this just means that if you forget your cable, if something happens, these are pretty much everywhere. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg to buy something proprietary. And then here's your old school RCA cables if you need that. Let's just take a look at the ports here. So we have two HDMI. We also have SD card support right over there. And then if we look on the back of the device itself, here's your VGA port and you get two USB ports. I like that one gives you five volts of output meaning you can power up your Chromecast, your Fire TV, whatever you connect via HDMI that requires power. You don't need to run a separate line to it. Just go ahead and plug it in right over there. This is where you plug in those old school AV cables. And then if you want to connect headphones or speaker, or whatever you want, three and a half millimeter headphone jack is right over there. You can see you have one speaker. And then over here on the right side of the projector, here's your keystone that you can adjust manually if you need to. You can fully control this entire projector without using a remote control, all by using these buttons on the top. So you have your arrows for up and down, left and right, your OK, that's your select button, and then your power right over there. The nice brushed aluminum, brushed silver, black look means that it's very modern looking and it'll fit just about anywhere you put it. I am standing directly behind the projector, so I just want to show you the different modes that are available. So just going into the setup, I want to show you the different modes that we have available. You have here your picture mode, so you can go from standard, you can do soft, and then there's your user. I like to leave mine on vivid, just to give me a little bit more of a picture quality. Next, you can do the same with your color temperature, so you can go in and kind of change it, or do your own user-defined temperature, whatever you think looks the best to you, you can go ahead and do that. Here's your noise reduction. You can change the noise reduction as well. So going on into noise reduction, you can turn it off if you don't want it. You can set it high or you can do a default. I generally think middle is a good ground. Another thing that I like, you have different user-defined settings for how you have the projector mounted. So not everyone is going to have the projector straight on looking at the wall. You might have it upside down, you might have it on the left, you might have it on the right. So you can just go in and kind of change those settings. Next, going into your keystone, you can have it auto adjust, which I think is super awesome. So I leave it on auto, but you can go in and you can kind of rotate it your own. You can do a different calibration if you want to for your horizontal and your vertical. But for me, I noticed that auto adjust actually does a really good job. And that's basically it in the settings. I mean, you have a whole bunch of options here that you can change your picture mode, your color temperature, your aspect ratio, the noise reduction. You really will get an awesome quality video if you just go in and set it up properly. There's different inputs you can choose as well. There's SD, there's USB, you have two HDMI ports. You also have that AV cable if you need to use it and an old school VGA. Let's just go ahead and click on to the HDMI one that I already have something connected to. In terms of quality, I think this projector does a really nice job. Again, 1080p is supported. So let's just go in and check out a channel. As I was to find out, the population here is hugely diverse. With Zulu, British, Indian and Afrikaner heritage apparent at every dinner table in the province. Uh, to meet a farmer who specializes in raising sheep that have tiny ears and really fat tails. And it's got kind of fur uh, instead of wool institution, I wanted to see the way things were done here. I headed out to a farm to visit agro-ecological farmer Richard Hay, descendant of a 17th century shipwreck. Maybe a whole sort of menagerie going on. It's like a petting zoo. <laughs> Came down, traveled through Africa, and it's thanks to local people that yeah. we consider. Continue talking about it, but I think that OnePlus did an excellent job of just improving the overall camera quality. 
Now is this gonna beat out a pixel in a photo shoot contest? No it won't, but you no longer have to be that person that loves your OnePlus device but kinda shies away from taking shots in a group setting just because, well, you really never knew how it would come out and I don't blame This one deemed important enough to keep. What we've seen in the last couple months uh, through the coronavirus is that vulnerable communities are people that have uh, high blood pressure, uh, heart disease, obesity, diabetes, uh, largely related to diet and food access. A total of 10 vertical gardens will spread their roots across Jersey City. Some will be at public schools, others public housing complexes, and a couple at senior centers like this one behind me, the Joseph Connor Senior Center. To show the blacks and the contrast, I really like showing the Dark Knight just because this intro is so gangster. This intro is what it's all about. When you want to see what a projector can do, you want to see how deep the colors can get, how black the blacks can get, this is the intro that you want to check out. Tonight, join Jimmy and his guests. The co host of Queer Eye, Christian Slater, musical guest Sia, and the legendary Roots crew. It's the Tonight Show at Home Edition. We in the house, y'all. And now, here's Jimmy. Welcome to the Tonight Show, everyone. During what continues to be a very turbulent time, I just want to say to everyone out there protesting or people going back to work during quarantine, please stay safe. Um, and we appreciate you. Just looking at the quality at 1080p, I think this does an excellent job. It does a really good job whether your media is on a pen drive, whether your media is streaming, connecting a Android TV box to the HDMI input, you're gonna get a really nice quality and the sound was something that actually surprised me as well. Even though it just has one mono speaker, the speaker did a good job. It sounded very nice, but you can always just connect an external speaker if you want to. The quality really surprised me. I was not expecting this to be as good as it was. But let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. For me, this is a win. For me, this is going to be my game day projector. This is going to be for when people come over and we just want to watch a movie and my TV is just not big enough for everybody. This is a projector that I'm going to use. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.